Assalamualaikum and good morning. So this is a tutorial for practical work two, which is diet application half wave rectifier. Okay, so I have the component which is this one is diode and this one is a resistor. Okay, so what is our learning outcome for this uh, practical two is first. Uh, Students are able to construct half wave rectifier circuit. Okay, so students should follow the circuit in the lab sheet. Second is to set a function generator to 1000 Hz and 8 volt peak to peak uh, sinus wave. Okay, sinus sine wave. Eh? And then to record input of half wave rectifier and also to record. Uh, output of half wave rectifier one is input and one is output so we have four learning outcome so students should able to construct and students should able to generate 8 volt peak to peak 100 uh, thousand hertz of uh, sine wave and also to record the input and output of the half wave rectifier so uh, this is the circuit so this is the circuit okay so we have signal generator here okay signal generator so signal generator will for produce 1 kilohertz and 8 volt peak to peak so we have one diode here what diode we are using is 1N4007 so this is anode and this is cathode and also we have 2.2 kilo ohm but if you get 1.5 kilo ohm or 3.3 .3 kilo ohm also fine we can also able to draw the input and the output so this is the input and this one is the output okay this is the output okay so today i will show you how to construct the circuit so this is the signal generator okay so this is the signal generator so we have one wire here okay one wire here so this one this is the wire with two output so we select or we connect the circuit uh, the probe at the output 50 ohm and then choose sine wave and this one don't press okay don't press and this one we press 1k okay 1k and this one offset must be to the left okay to the left and duty also to the left okay to the left but the amplitude we need to adjust according to the input waveform that uh, we, we mentioned in the lab sheet and the scale here must put one one time one k we get one kilohertz so the frequency that we set for this signal generator is 1 kilohertz. So this is the signal generator. Okay. So this is the circuit. Okay. This is the circuit. The circuit we have signal generator that just now we set for 1 kilohertz and 8 volt peak to peak. And this is the diode and this is a resistor. Okay. So according to the circuit we connect positive okay positive signal generator to the diode anode here yeah to the anode and then from the cathode we connect to the resistor from the cathode we connect to the resistor okay connect to the resistor and from the resistor we go back to negative supply so this one negative negative uh, signal generator just now we put here suppose that our circuit is okay now but how we want to check whether the frequency given here is 1 kilohertz and 8 volt peak to peak we need to use oscilloscope okay this is oscilloscope new oscilloscope okay so we have here uh, power okay we on the power so from the power here we choose normal 
okay we choose normal wait yeah we choose normal and we choose channel 1 and we choose AC AC okay channel 1 normal and AC okay if we choose no channel 1 this is the vote per division vote per division channel 1 so channel 1 show us two vote means that one block or one division from here to here is two vote two vote okay so for channel 2 we choose also two vote so if we choose channel 2 here okay channel 2 sorry yeah okay so two vote per division means that from here to here is two vote from here to here is two vote okay so let's say i connect channel 1 to input Okay, connect channel 1 to input. So, this is the input. I put positive probe here and negative probe here like this. Okay, this is positive and negative. But make sure that the what you call scale here is time 1. Okay, time 1. Okay, time 1. Okay, time 1. Okay, so I need to connect the... Uh, what you call pro to positive okay so here this one i put to the red pro okay i put to the red pro and the negative one i put here okay i put here wait yeah i put here so uh, channel one okay so we go to channel one okay so this is the input just now okay we set for one kilohertz one kilohertz and eight volt peak to peak so if you see here okay we can see that the sine wave is one two three four four times two is eight so we get eight volt peak to peak eight volt peak to peak so we can get the input is 8 volt peak to peak what about the frequency so frequency is 1 over t frequency is 1 over t so here okay the position yeah the position here let's say the position t or uh, time per one cycle is from here to here one box two box from here to here pick to pick here one box and two box two times 0 0.5 millisecond so i have like this this is one cycle okay one cycle so one cycle means from pick to pick or from here to here one cycle so this is two box two times 0 0.5 millisecond 0 0.5 millisecond so frequency if 1 times 1 millisecond 2 times 0 0.5 millisecond is 1 millisecond so from here 1 divided 1 millisecond we can get uh, 1000 hertz or 1 kilohertz so we able to set frequency 1 kilohertz and also the what you call peak to peak is 8 volt peak to peak ok so settle this one but the aim of the objective is to draw is to draw the input okay to draw the input so this is the input waveform okay input waveform so one two three four four okay time two volt per division two volt per division four times two we get eight volt peak to peak 8 volt peak to peak so you draw one cycle only let's say i draw like this yeah but i mention here is four if you want to draw one two three four never mind but in my case i draw like this i said four box time two volt per division so i get eight volt peak to peak okay but how about the frequency just now we mentioned the frequency here is 
टू uh, बॉक्स टू टाइम्स टू टाइम जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मिली सेकेंड सो आई गॉट द टाइम इज वन मिली सेकेंड एंड द फ्रिक्वेंसी आई गेट वन ओवर टी इज वन किलो हट्स ओके सो दिस इज द थिंग दैट यू नीड टू ड्रॉ नेक्स्ट इज वी नीड टू ड्रॉ द आउटपुट सो द आउटपुट ऑफ द सर्किट ओके द आउटपुट ऑफ द सर्किट is this one is at 2.2 uh, kilo ohm v out so we need channel 2 okay we need channel 2 but one uh, one more time i need to remind is we need to put at time 1 okay time 1 and we choose uh, scale channel 2 okay and the positive probe we put up here and the negative probe we put down here like this okay so in the circuit okay in the circuit so positive probe i put here okay i put here and negative probe i put here okay like this okay so this is a positive probe for channel 2 this is the negative probe for channel 2 okay suppose that we can get the output that is the output okay This is the output trigger. Yeah? Right there. Okay, this is the output. This is channel 1 input and this is the output for channel 2. Okay? So we know that diode can be a rectifier to change from AC to DC. So the input is AC. We have positive cycle and we have negative cycle. But at the output, we have only positive cycle, whereas the negative cycle is gone. Okay, okay. So this is a rectifier to convert from AC to DC. How about the voltage? So the voltage here, okay, the voltage is one, one point six. Okay, one box and three. What you call three, three line. So one point six times two. 1.6 times 2, 1.6 times 2, 12. So we get 3.2 volt. Peak only. 3.2 volt peak only. So in our report, okay. So we draw like this, okay. So like for example, yeah, like this. So this is the output. So the output here is 1.6. 1.6 times 2. Why 2? Because we use channel 2 is 2 volt. So 1.6 times 2 is 3.2 volt peak. Not peak to peak. Eh? 3.0 volt peak only. And time division, I think this is no change. So 2 times 0.5. 2 times 0.5. So 1 millisecond. So the frequency is remain the same. So this is for practical two, okay. So we are able to see that the diode can be used as a rectifier, but this one is half wave rectifier because uh, the negative uh, signal is uh, cut, eh, and only produce positive signal only, positive waveform. So the output we have. But during the negative cycle, the output is clip. So this is half wave rectifier. Hopefully that you can, uh, uh, what you call, uh, make use of this tutorial and do your experiment too. But you must follow what you call very carefully because all the function here, okay, all the what you call point point here, we have the function. So you need to press what you call the point that uh, the the pen uh, the what you call the point that that I choose only so the rest is not used so we only choose normal channel 1 AC and channel 1 here but channel 1 here you can change okay according to uh, what we uh, state here so I think it should be fine okay. one more thing okay so in your lab sheet Uh, there is a question about voltage across the resistor. Okay, so what is the value of 
voltage across the resistor, you need to use your multimeter put at a DC volt. Okay? So, you just replace this probe, channel 2 probe. Positive multimeter put at the here. This is a positive multimeter you put here. And negative multimeter you put here. Okay? Negative multimeter you put here. Positive multimeter you put here. And you can get what is the value voltage across the resistor. And in the question also, they ask us to find the average value of the rectifier. Okay? Average value, okay, V average for half wave, half wave rectifier, rectifier is given for formula 0 0.318 time V peak. Okay? V average of half wave rectifier is given by formula 0 0.318 time V peak. So V peak is the value for this one. This is V peak. V peak. So V peak is 3.2. So we get 0 0.318 time 3.2. So you get the value here. Okay, you get the value here. And you put the value in here. And question number 5 percent difference between the measured value and the calculated value okay is the difference between the multimeter reading multimeter reading just now here multimeter reading okay and this one so you need to find the difference between multimeter reading and the what you call the the oscilloscope reading okay that's all Okay, thank you.